Hey guys, uh, so this video I'm going to cover the Toriando defense. That was the most requested one after the last video. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the two main things we're trying to avoid when the guy goes for the Toriando, and what I mean by Toriando is he's controlling both pants, right? There's a, uh, go ahead and grab this. Yeah. There's a couple of different variations for how people will do this. They may try to pull your legs to the floor. They may try to push your legs to the side. Um, but we're focusing primarily just on the guy having the pants, and there's going to be a few small variations, right? Uh, there's also the one arm throw, which like if you like going through with this, right? Or like a leg drag where he would cross grip. These are a little bit different. There's a lot of crossover. I may do a separate video on those. There's a lot of similarities, but we're really focused on the double pan grip right now. Okay, so the most important thing I want to start with is two things. I, whatever side he's passing to, if he's going this way, I don't want to let this leg get open and separate it from the elbow and knee. If I get this elbow knee separation, he can put his knee on my stomach. And now it's really hard to get movement, all right? <laughs> if uh, the other one is, I don't want to let my hips get turned. So you can go this way. If I let my hip get turned over to face away from him, it's really hard to get this foot back on anything. I don't have much movement, right? You could try to come up and do this recompose, but that gets you exposed to a stack or your back. So I just generally want to avoid that, right? So the most important thing I focus on, if he goes to this side, I want to keep this knee tight, I frame, and I want to use this elbow on the floor for drive to stop my hip from turning. He's trying to pressure my hip this way, so my elbow driving into the floor helps keep it strong facing up. And then I frame the hip, or the thigh, right? This can be on different spots, but the main thing is the elbow here, right? The elbow drives into this. If I do this and the elbow drops, this will drop over, right? You need the elbow open. So a lot of times, like in the beginning, like you're grip fighting, looking for something, looking for your grips, and then you mess up and the guy goes, so I strike the floor with my elbow really quick. He'll actually hear that impact, right? And then I kind of use my core to help turn my hips to face him. I can't let myself get turned away. It becomes really difficult then, right? So you kind of get good at this over time. So you're fighting, then the move comes, boom, you block, right? I turn my hip in, frame, and block here. Now what I'm looking to do is get my foot in the bicep, okay? Sometimes it's a little bit difficult. Maybe the guy's holding like your ankle or your shin or he's got a good grip here. So when I frame here, keep coming at me, it's hard for him to really keep driving forward and, and see how he's almost like circling around. If I block here, when I pull down on this, like this, kind of like an like a action figure toy, right? Like that arm chopping motion, right? If I do that there, it helps center me up a little bit. It makes it easier to get this foot in. Once I get this foot in, I can center up, all right? And this is independent of uh, gi or no gi, right? You don't have to play spider guard for this to work. This is just a really useful motion to help center back up, right? Uh, so I'm here, he's got the pants, he goes around, boom, block, make sure my hip kind of faces that way a little bit, frame the hip so it doesn't get turned over, get the foot in the bicep and come up, right? Uh, sometimes if the grip is like uh, lower on the pants for whatever reason, you can't go underneath, sometimes it's easier to go over top. So you just have to feel what's easier, going over top of the grip or going underneath, right? You know, like that. Uh, if he has the ankle, I can get both grips again. If he has the ankle sometimes, it can be hard to get the foot straight in. So rather than trying to go straight up to the bicep, go across with your foot first, right? So look, my foot here, it's going directly to the side over here, and then the foot comes up and you can fight the rest, right? So that would be like this, I go over, up, and now the hand and the foot here work to center me back up. From here, I can start looking for the sleeves, for spider guard, or if he's close, I'd grab the ankle, or I can just push him away, try to set up and, and set up your game. Um, so, a couple other things to, to look at here, like a lot of people do this recompose where you have the sleeves, you go ahead and pass that way, right? And then they do this one where you set up and recompose this way. That is a really good move. One nice thing about it is you keep the sleeve and you can use it to maybe set up another position later by keeping a sleeve. But I don't like to tell my guys to go for that immediately because I feel like this version of the defense is more like foundational, right? It's really based off of solid mechanics, keeping your elbow tight, framing, understanding how to uh, stop your hip from turning over. It's like the real foundation of maintaining an open guard, right? The other one is like a nice, it's like a nice extra weapon, right? You can use it sometimes if you go, so you can, you can try, come back and you're sitting up. It's a nice extra, but I don't like to make it the, the foundation of the person's recomposing. Also, if the guy on top really knows how to counter that well, I do feel like it leaves you exposed. I think I've showed that a little bit in uh, previous videos. Um, so, uh, yeah, with the Toriando defense, focus on getting the foot in the bicep, not letting the hip get turned, uh, framing with the hand and the shoulder. Uh, and then the last part about it, just one more thing, is like, there is a point where you don't want to be sleeping with, uh, when the guy starts passing, right? If I'm just waiting here and I let him get a good strong drive, 
Of course, it's a lot harder the more I let him get around. So when I'm actually here and he starts trying to set up a Toriyama, I always have my legs moving. Like that yeah, old school Gracie stuff works, right? Like I always have my legs moving. He's trying to get good grips to do this. Even if I don't play spider, this is just frustrating. Actually, make grips. You see, like every time he gets a grip, I just loop over top and messes his grip up. Keep grabbing. Like, do it hard, yeah. See, like, so he doesn't even get a good angle in the first place. And then if you, in the case that you do mess up or you were tired and you got caught just, just like getting back to your guard and he hits it good, boom, you block, right? Frame here, frame here, putting the bicep, center up, all right? Um, yeah, guys, so if you guys have any questions, please comment, ask. Uh, I really wanna kinda interact with the Reddit community more, so whatever you, uh, questions you guys have or what you guys think is the next pass to uh, cover defending. Right now, I think the top rated one was the uh, leg weave pass, I had a lot of requests. So you guys just let me know what you want me to cover and we'll do it in the next video. Thanks a lot.